police chief says ring doorbells are an added tool that can help them protect the community. These protesters say no more mandates and are not happy with the restrictions the unvaccinated continue to face. The other reason why today's opening day is so special is because they're celebrating the 100th anniversary of the Negro League. It's coming down pretty heavily. It's like large chunks of ice. If you get a 3.5 sticker. So I'm working on a story tonight that centers around a new business in Elmira that gives customers the gift of weed when they purchase a sticker. That's right, a sticker. Coming up tonight at 11, I'll tell you how this business owner is able to do this through a loophole. See you tonight at 11. So this is the scam alert. The lieutenant warns people are receiving via text asking for their personal information and warns DMV and other government agencies never send a text or email asking you for your personal information. Look at underneath this bridge. There's trash everywhere. You would never think the city cleaned out underneath this bridge about four weeks ago. Now they're back to square one. Bill and Rebecca tell me they've lost everything in this fire, but they are thankful that their family came out alive. They have set up a GoFundMe page to get things like school supplies for their kids. The Loudon Bridge has been closed for a year now, but coming up at 11, I'll have some good news about this bridge. We have $50, $100, $5. No amount is too small. Marsha. Renata, the energy here is filled with excitement. Now, this is the central place where runners come to begin their wine glass weekend experience. And as you can see, the runners here behind me. You say tomato, well, I say tomato. You know how the saying goes, but what is this? It's a tomato, apparently. However, it's purple after being genetically modified. This is a video you will only see first on WENY News. What happens next is jaw dropping. The sheriff's deputy was helping three people broken down on the side of Interstate 86, now to Minnesota, and the investigation into that deadly shooting at the Mall of America. The mall was under lockdown for more than an hour Friday evening after shots rang out in the Nordstrom's department store. One person was killed. Zareen Shaw has the details. Tishon, it is bitterly cold oh. out there. I was thinking earlier today, since you're from Trinidad and Tobago, mm -hmm. and my family's from St. Lucia, wouldn't the Caribbean be nice right about now? Just to oh be there. To be, to be on the beach, relaxing. Yes. Truckers are getting hammered by diesel fuel prices and they are not happy. I caught up with one trucker last week on his way back home. Now he traveled from Florida to Rochester, to New Jersey, to PA, and then Syracuse before making it back to Bath. <laughs> it's a difficult industry that we're in right now, so and just gets harder by the day. Larry Allison is an independent owner and truck driver. He has owned his business, Reaper Transport, for the past three years. Larry says each time he pulls his big rig up to the pump, he knows the price will be big. Jobs that are being offered pay less than the cost he spends on gas. The freight rates aren't paying nearly as much to compensate for the fuel price that's happening in this country right now. Um, so one tank of fuel costs you five or six hundred dollars now. A lot of us are feeling the pain at the pump filling one tank. In Larry's situation, not only does he have one, he has two, three, and four. They're 200 gallon tanks, 100 on each side. That's a total of $77,000 a year he spends on gas. And this year, he is tracking to double that amount. Larry says these gas prices are hurting his business so badly, it's going to put him out of business. He's beyond frustrated. Don't make me terrible. <laughs> I have not taken a paycheck and paid myself um, in 10 weeks this week. Diesel fuel prices have topped $6.53 a gallon in Bath, Larry says. To save on gas, he uses a gas app. Although that app only gives him a five cent discount, he says every penny counts nowadays. Another strategy, he simply says he just won't take the job. So um, if you find a trip that's going 600 miles and paying $500, I cannot obviously move for that 
there's nothing left to pay my bills on. This gets me down for sure, um, but it's either keep going or quit. And I'm not a quitter, so I'm gonna keep going. Larry added, he is in between a rock and a hard place right now. But like you heard him say, giving up is not an option. He comes from a long family line of truckers and he says he has no plans to throw in the towel. The chants grew louder and louder and the signs held higher and higher. Drivers honked their horns as they drove by in support of these protesters. A hundred plus stood along West Church Street and North Main in Elmira near Wisner Park. Katrina Philippi came with her family and says she wants their voices to be heard. We will not comply to these vaccine mandates. It's our body, it's our choice, and the government shouldn't have any say of what we're gonna put inside of our bodies or our children's bodies. Katrina says she believes the new vaccine mandates force people to have to choose between getting the jab or losing their job. People aren't gonna be, are gonna be out of jobs because they're being forced. These protesters say no more mandates and are not happy with the restrictions the unvaccinated continue to face. I'm just afraid it's gonna go on to other things. First it's the masks, now it's the vaccines. It could be a lot of number of things. You can't get a job, you can't go buy things if you don't have the vaccine or a passport card. Elaine Dubrava agrees and says protesting against the vaccine mandate is something she believes very strongly in. I believe my body, my choice, my child, my choice. And we are a nation of free. I thought we were a free nation and every voice needs to be heard.